What is up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back with stage 13 of the Giro d'Italia and I think I owe you an apology first because I recorded stage 11, I recorded stage 12 as well and they were two phenomenal stages. I then go to edit them and I realised I had been recording my other monitor not displaying PCM so <laughs> there was nothing really I could do. Sadly, we missed out on those two stages, but I'll catch you up with what happened right now. So stage 11 first, and we had an interesting one because Stefano Aldani took the win for Lotto Suzao Milano second as well with Gaviria in sixth. We had Hodge on, I think, a plus four day. He finished fourth, and it was a strange sprint, obviously, with Damar in 10th and Aldani taking it. Great result there for him. And then stage 12, Fausto Masnada, took a massive solo victory. He went in the early breakaway. We attacked on one of these middle climbs here and we went solo to the line by ourselves from the breakaway. It was a wonderful stage. I'm so upset we missed out on this one. But anyhow, another stage win for the team right there. But stage 13 today, probably won for the sprinters again, despite these two climbs in the finish. Demar Sagan and even Gaviria, the riders to beat. Okay, we get underway here in Italy. I'm thinking we may try and go in the break if Seri can get to the front here. Seemingly, he cannot though, so it may be difficult to get in that break. Eventually, you can see Conti, I think, trying to make a move, or is he just trying to pace these guys in? You can see a few riders up the roads right here. And I think I showed it previously in the episode that you didn't see, but you can see we do have the new EF uh, kind of Palace and Rafa jersey right there, looking very, very nice in game. So we do have today's breakaway now up the road. We have five riders in this group. These guys seemingly looking at each other a little bit, uh, but we have uh, Raporti, Torres, Gastoa, and Branley as well. Two and a half minutes on the Peloton. So in the end, those guys were just attacking each other so much. I give up. Seri is going to drop back to the Peloton. I think we can have Kaiser pacing on the front as well because I want to punish those guys. They made it difficult for us, so we're going to try and work hard to bring them in. So Irio is doing a wonderful job, exactly what I hoped he would do here, working hard to bring in that breakaway and give them pretty much no chance in today's stage. Okay, we're now coming towards this intermediate sprint. I'm not going to go for any of those points though with our guys. We're going to try and set a steady tempo here, set by Fausto Masnada. He really is a domestique apart from going for that Maglia at Zura. He's going to try and set a pretty difficult rhythm on 84. We'll stick him like that whilst Almeida being looked after by Peter Seri. We have Kaiser, who is now done for the day as well, whilst Masnada is hopefully going to make this a difficult stage. I think Hodge will struggle to stay here. So Masnada setting a pretty nice rhythm. Hopefully I can get rid of someone like Gaviria, who is, of course, a big rival for his stage like this. Masnada can now go up to 90. Can we maybe try and steal a few of these KOM points as well with Almeida in a pretty good position? It is uh, for sure. Masnada, I think, We'll get a few KOM points. We opened up his lead in that competition in the previous stage. He now has 84 points, a very nice advantage indeed. So we now sweep into the final 20k of this stage. And uh, we do have a few riders struggling to stay with the front group here. I'm not sure if we have any favourites. Doesn't seem so. Uh, but yeah, a few riders struggling with this difficult tempo that is being set by Fausto Masnada. He is almost done though as we come into the penultimate climb. Well, sorry, of course, I did mean the final climb. So Masnada is going to go to 95 right here. We have Seri, who's going to jump in the wheel. In fact, we'll drop it to 90. Don't want to put Ballerini in too much difficulty. Um, and Masnada is almost done with 500 meters, or sorry, 1500 meters to the top of this climb. Now Seri is going to take over on the front. Hodge, as you see, pretty much done for the day. So Seri can try and tempo at 84 to the top of uh, of this climb with Ballerini sat on his wheel. Almeida still in a good position. Seri, push it to 90 if you can now over the top. And this is pretty perfect. We're gonna try a sprint with Davide Ballerini into the final. Uh, but can Seri drop any guys? Uh, Fusang and Micah not going anywhere off the front. And this um, seems to be going pretty well. So 8k to go in this one. Masnada comes to the front, knocks. Will look after Zhao Almeida. 129 riders are still in this group. As Cameron Meyer actually on the attack right here. Um, I think we still pretty much have all 
of the other sprinters. So haven't been able to drop any guys. Let's just take position though with Almeida as Masnada. Pretty much is now done. He can sit up for the day. Well, Seri up to 85. We have Matthews, Damar now moving up. And our lead out not looking too good, it must be said. Um, and I'm going to try something different here. Can Ballerini try an early move off the front with Arnold Damar on his wheel? Doesn't seem so. Uh, so I'm going to sit up right here as Sagan is now coming. Uh, Damar is in trouble, but I think so is Ballerini. We're trying to follow the Frenchman with Sagan. Now moving up into the final, we'll try and sprint past Peter Sagan here, but we don't have anything left. I think we had a fool just there, and Damar still takes the win ahead of Sagan. Ballerini, in the end, will finish in the top five. We tried something different, and it definitely didn't quite pay off. However, of course, we keep the Maglia Rosa. Quite simply, Arnold Damar is just too good, beating Sagan today, Vendrame rounding out the podium. Ballerini, a little disappointing, but yeah, I tried something different, knowing Damar was probably going to beat us all in the sprint anyhow. We, of course, hold on to that Maglia Rosa for another day. And a big one up next, stage 14, and we have the longest individual time trial of the race, the second of three TTs, 32.7 kilometers. This is going to be massive for the GC, and hopefully we are able to hold on to the pink jersey. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed, guys. Drop a like on the video if you did. Tell me what you thought in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next one.